Well, my experiment was how you can balance the nature in a jar. Otherwise, make an ich, 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 ecosphere. And I think that's all I know. I looked up on the computer and oh, and we learned how to make an ecosphere, as you can see right here. My book. But my real book is here. This is my journal. And this was with my lab coat on. And this is how many days I've been working and we didn't do this week. So, I'm um, actually quite experienced with this. At first we had, how many shrimp did we start out with? Oh, right, we had four shrimp, but then we kind of lost one and we got three, then it only, then we lost two and then it was one. Then we, we had zero, we got more, then it was zero. Then that's when Frederica moved in. That is, whoa, Frederica's getting pretty big. Frederica's the small snail. As you can see, he's in back of here. Right here. So as you see, he's, now that's Redder, his dad, up on the seaweed. I mean the plant. Okay, we're, oh uh, wait, wait, let me see. Oh, no, that, that, was, that was Rosie, her, his mother on top of that, but, this is Redder. He's stuck to this. Redder, get off. Well, that shrimp are lighter than snails. Shrimp are stronger than snails. So, so they can fight through a certain amount of water temperature. And they're still alive, but the shrimp have died off. And we usually, um, clean up the water every now and then, but we're leaving these um, plants in here for our snails to eat. Well, if we had too many people in Benicia, it would be hard to live here. So we have, so if we, so it would get entirely stinky. This, this one was really stinky and we would, we would almost die all of us. And that's what happened to the shrimp. We put too many animals in here. Shrimp all died, snails still alive. But that would happen to us and all the animals would be still alive. And that's all I know that. I'm Elijah Han Smith. I'm in fifth grade, and my research was about what section of town has the most airborne particles, and I wanted to find out that. So, yeah. Well, I looked. Well, um, I had index cards, and I punched out holes in, for them, and I um, put string through it and um, tied them to trees around town and waited two days and I took them down and saw which ones had the most and the least airborne pollution. Oh, we put petroleum jelly on them. We put them um, at the Valero Refinery, the Benicia State Park, First Street, Mary Farmer, um, and arsenal. I found out that the refinery had the most, of course, and I was kind of surprised that the state park had the least, because it's right near a highway. It was the refinery. And 
this was the state park. For Valero, um, it had over 300, and the state park had six specs. I think it means that um, we should probably cut down on the refinery air pollution, and that would help us, and yeah. My name is Anna Tor, I'm in fifth grade. My research was to see which house got the hottest under a heat lamp. I built them out of popsicle sticks, then painted a couple of them, and then put different objects on other the other ones, and then I put them under a heat lamp for 30 minutes. I thought the black house was gonna get the hottest and that the White House was going to get the coolest. I found that the Black House got the hottest and the Cotton Ball House got the coolest. Because black absorbs heat and white reflects light and heat. People can do something similar to their houses to keep their homes warm or cooler. Kaylin Campbell and I'm in second grade. I was doing it about sailing and how the wind makes a sailboat move. This um, long piece of wood right here is called a mast. This um, helps hold the sail up, so they call it a forest day. This is the um, body of the boat. boat. They call it a hoe. Ho. This is a keel. The rudder, it helps steer it. This is a boom, and it helps hold the sail up too. This is the sail that helps move the boat. Where? I took a big fan and I set it on a table and I used these mini boats to see how it would do it. Well, it pushes like this side and it makes it go up when like this. A steamboat can set out bad things to the air and a sailboat can well, it doesn't because the wind's moving it. It's not using a big engine to, um, like, push it. It works on sails, and I bet it could work on other things, too.